The Persian Constitutional Revolution Persian, Mashruthit Mashruthiyat, or Anklab Mashruth Anglab e Mashruta, also known as the Constitutional Revolution of Iran, took place between 1905 and 1911. The revolution led to the establishment of a parliament in Persia Iran during the Qajar dynasty. The revolution opened the way for cataclysmic change in Persia, heralding the modern era. It saw a period of unprecedented debate in a burgeoning press. The revolution created new opportunities and opened up seemingly boundless possibilities for Persia's future. Many different groups fought to shape the course of the revolution, and all sections of society were ultimately to be in some way changed by it. The old order, which King Nasruddin Shah Qajar had struggled for so long to sustain, finally died, to be replaced by new institutions, new forms of expression, and a new social and political order. The monarch Mazafar ad-Din Shah Qajar signed the constitution in 1906, but he died shortly after and was replaced by Muhammad Ali Shah. The latter abolished the constitution and bombarded the parliament with Russian and British support in 1908. This led to another pro-constitutional movement. The constitutionalist forces marched to Tehran, forced Muhammad Ali Shah's abdication in favor of his young son Ahmad Shah Qajar and then re-established the constitution in 1909. The 1921 Persian coup, Persian quidte asfin, refers to several major events in Iran, Persia, in 1921, which eventually led to the establishment of the Pahlavi dynasty as the ruling house of the country in 1925. On December 12, 1925, Iran's parliament amended Iran's constitution of 1906–1907 to replace the Qajar dynasty (1797–1925) with the Pahlavi dynasty as the legitimate sovereigns of Iran. The movement did not end with the revolution being put down in 1911 by the Russians, but was followed by the Jungle Movement of Gilan (1914–1921). Topic: History. With the first provision the fundamental law signed by Muzaffar al-Din just days before his death, Iran saw legislative reform vital to their goal of independence from British and Russian imperialism. The three main groups of the coalition seeking a constitution were the bazaar merchants, ulama, and a small faction of radical reformers. These groups shared the goal of ending royal corruption and stopping the dominance of foreign powers. Revolutionaries argued that role of the Shah was once again being used to keep the Shah, Qajar, and the other aristocrats wealthy at the expense of surrendering the country's resources and economy. They argued that whilst Iran's oil industry was sold to the British, tax advantages on import, export and manufactured textiles destroyed Iran's economy formerly supported by bazaar merchants. Muzaffar al-Din accumulated a fortune in foreign debt while selling off assets to repay the interest, instead of investing in Iran. This rift founded Iran's constitutional revolt. The fundamental law gave the elected legislature a final approval over all loans, concession, and budget. Further power was diverted from the Shah with the supplementary fundamental law passed a few days later giving power over appointing ministers, and later a committee of Moitahids was introduced to confirm new laws abide by the Sharia. Despite the ulama's best efforts towards independence from external dominance, in 1907 Britain and Russia capitalized on Iran's weak government and signed the Entente which divided Iran among the two leaving a neutral zone in the center of the country. The end of this constitutional period came when members of the Majlis in the remaining neutral zone of Tehran dissolved under the issue of equal rights for non-Muslims, Russia then invaded Tehran and captured the city. While Iran did gain a constitution, the goal of Iranian independence was not achieved by the revolts. Topic. Context Weakness and extravagance continued during the brief reign of Mazafar ad-Din Shah Qajar He often relied on his chancellor to manage his decentralized state. His dire financial situation caused him to sign many concessions to foreign powers, on an expanding list of trade items ranging from weapons to tobacco. The established noble classes, religious authorities, and educated elite began to demand a curb on royal authority and the establishment of the rule of law as their concern over foreign, and especially Russian, influence grew. He had also taken out several major loans from Russia and Britain to pay for his extravagant lifestyle and the costs of the central government. In 1900 the Shah financed a royal tour of Europe by borrowing 22 million rubles from Russia. Iranian customs receipts served as collateral. 
<laughs> First protests In 1905 protests broke out over the collection of Persia tariffs to pay back the Russian loan for Mazafar ad-Din Shah's royal tour. In December 1905, two Persian merchants were punished in Tehran for charging exorbitant prices. They were bastinadoed a humiliating and very painful punishment where the soles of one's feet are cane in public. An uprising of the merchant class in Tehran ensued, with merchants closing the bazaar. The clergy following suit as a result of the alliance formed in the 1892 Tobacco Rebellion. The two protesting groups sought sanctuary in a mosque in Tehran, but the government violated this sanctuary and entered the mosque and dispersed the group. This violation of the sanctity of the mosque created an even larger movement which sought refuge in a shrine outside Tehran. On January 12, 1906 the Shah capitulated to the demonstrators agreeing to dismiss his prime minister and to surrender power to a new House of Justice, the forerunner to the parliament. The Basti protesters who take sanctuary in mosques return from the mosque in triumph, riding royal carriages and being hailed by a jubilant crowd. In a scuffle in early 1906 the government killed a Sayyid descendant of the Prophet Muhammad. A more deadly skirmish followed a short time later when Cossacks killed 22 protesters and injured 100. Bazaar again closed and the ulama went on strike, a large number of them taking sanctuary in the holy city Qam. Many merchants went to the British embassy which agreed to offer protection to Basti in the grounds of their legation. <laughs> <laughs> Creation of the constitution In the summer of 1906 approximately 12,000 men camped out in the gardens of the British embassy. Many gave speeches, many more listened, in what has been called a vast open-air school of political science studying constitutionalism. It is here that the demand for a majils parliament, also means gathering in Persian, pronounced M-A-D-J less, was born, the goal of which was to limit the power of the Shah. In August 1906, Mazafar ad-Din Shah agreed to allow a parliament, and in the fall, the first elections were held. In all, 156 members were elected, with an overwhelming majority coming from Tehran and the merchant class. October 1906 marked the first meeting of the Majils, who immediately gave themselves the right to make a constitution, thereby becoming a constitutional assembly. The Shah was getting old and sick, and attending the inauguration of the parliament was one of his last acts as king. Mazafar ad-Din Shah's son Muhammad Ali, however, was not privy to constitutionalism. Therefore, they had to work fast, and by December 31, 1906 the Shah signed the constitution, modelled primarily from the Belgian constitution. The Shah was from there on, under the rule of law, and the crown became a divine gift given to the Shah by the people. Mazafar ad-Din Shah died five days later. <laughs> Aftermath Within the decade following the establishment of the new Majils a number of critical events took place. Many of these events can be viewed as a continuation of the struggle between the constitutionalists and the Shahs of Persia, many of whom were backed by foreign powers against the Majils. The following January Shah Muhammad Ali, the sixth Qajar Shah, came to power. In August 1907, an Anglo-Russian agreement divided Iran into a Russian zone in the north and a British zone in the south, with a neutral band in between. The British switched their support to the Shah, abandoning the constitutionalists. In 1908, the Shah moved to exploit the divisions within the ranks of the reformers and eliminate the Majils. Persia tried to keep free from Russian influence through resistance via the Majils to the Shah's policies. The Majils employed the American Morgan Shuster to reform the tax system and the treasury. Russia issued an ultimatum to expel Morgan Shuster and to close the parliament. Russia invaded the northwest and north of Iran to protest against the continued employment of Morgan Shuster. Topic: Notable individuals. Topic: Constitutionalists. Mirza Nasrullah Khan, first elected prime minister of Iran. Mirza Jahangir Khan, founder and editor of the Sir E. Esrafil newspaper. Mirza Aqa Khan Kermani, writer, an Iranian literary critic and founder of New Iranian Nationalism. Malek al-Motahalman see Mirza Jahangir Khan. 
Mirza Sayyid Muhammad Tabatabai Nicole Duman participated in the defense of Tabriz Sayyid Jamal Vaz Morgan Shuster Saeed Hossein Artabili, member of Democrat Party in Tehran and Mashhad Arif Ghazvini Stepan Zorian Mirza Ali Shirazi Ali Akbar Dekoda Mehdi Kant, activist and figure of Iranian constitutional revolution in Kerman Sitar Khan, one of the main leaders of the revolutionary movement Sardar -e -Meli, meaning national commander. Bagar Khan, one of the key figures in the constitutional revolution Salar -e -Meli, meaning national chieftain. Sheikh Mehdi Nouri, Society of Constitutional Activists, a left religious party. Haj Baba Khan e Artabili, hero of Iranian constitutional revolution in Tehran, Tabriz and Artabil. Mirza Kuchik Khan, founder of a revolutionary movement based in the forests of Gilan. Mirza Malcolm Khan Kecho, Armenian revolutionary leader. Wounded in battle in 1910. Yeprim Khan, Armenian-Iranian revolutionary leader. Wounded Sitar Khan in the course of disarming the revolutionaries in Tehran as commander of Tehran's police force during the interim constitutionalist government. Arshak Gafavian, Armenian revolution leader. Killed the murderers of Yeprim Khan in revenge. Sardar Asad, Bakhtiari tribal leader whose forces captured Tehran in 1909 for the constitutional movement. Bibi Khatun Asterabadi, satirist, writer and one of the pioneers in Iranian women's movement. Hassan Pirnia Ahmad Kasravi Aminoya Khan Zia OS Sultan, aristocrat from the Qajar royal family and big landowner in Tabriz, who was for democratic reforms and modernization. He was accused of being responsible for the bomb assault against Muhammad Ali Shah, arrested at Bagh e Shah and finally before his execution let free by British troops. Haj Saeed Muhammad Saraf, merchant and banker from the Alavi family of Tehran. One of the leaders of the Democratic Party. Deputy to the 1st Majils for the Bankers of Tehran and Deputy to the 4th Majils for the People of Tehran. His brother was Haj Saeed Javad Kazaneh, treasurer of Mazafar ad-Din Shah at the time of the Constitutional Revolution and his grandson was the famous writer Bozer Galavi. Muhammad Taghi Bihar Sevkaritsi Seiko Sayyid Hassan Takizadeh Mirza Abdulrahim Talibov Tabrizi, intellectual and social reformer. Abdal Hossein Taymortash Abdal Hossein Mirza Farman Farma Sipazalar Tonikaboni, leader of the constitutionalists revolutionary forces from the northern provinces of Gilan and Mazandaran, was the first to arrive in Tehran and liberate the city from the royalist forces and became the first leader of the constitutionalist government. Howard Baskerville, American teacher who fought alongside the constitutionalists. Muhammad Ali Madavi, in remembrance of Mr. Howard Baskerville for giving his life during the Constitutional Revolution in Iran in 1909, Mr. Arif Ghazvini, one of Iran's highly regarded poets traveled to Tabriz to pay tribute to Baskerville in 1923. Mr. Gazvini and a few of the revolutionaries held a special tribunal ceremony for Baskerville in Tabriz. In this ceremony, Mr. Arif Gazvini read a poem he had written about Baskerville. I am Ehdrm Mdof Hurat Bad Way Kade Shuji W Waterdal W Dad Kurdi Pi Sat Iron F Day Jan Pained Bad Nam Tu Ru Twabad Shad Translation. You, the respected advocate of Liberty Sun, the brave chief of righteousness. You, who gave your life for Iran's bliss. Long live your name, may your soul rests in eternal peace. Later Mr. Madavi had this poem inscribed on a tabular tombstone which was placed on Baskerville's resting place in Tabriz. Howard Baskerville was and still remains a beloved hero in Iran. There is a photo of Mr. Muhammad Ali Madavi with the inscribed tabular tombstone for Mr. Baskerville in a book written in Persian entitled, Baskerville and the Iranian Constitution authored by Mr. Ali Kamalvand, 1957. Muhammad Mossadegh, liberal nationalist and future Prime Minister of Iran. Mortiza Goli Khan Hedayat Monarchists <inaudible> 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 Mazafar ad-Din Shah Qajar, Shah of Persia who signed the constitution, thereby creating a constitutional monarchy. Muhammad Ali Shah, son of Mazafar ad-Din Shah. Attempted to crush the constitution. Prince Sultan Abdal Majid Mirza 
Sheikh Fazlallah Nuri, a cleric who backed the king and stood against the constitutional revolution. After the victory of the ICM he was hanged. Vladimir Lyakov, a Russian colonel and commander of the Persian Cossack Brigade during the rule of Muhammad Ali Shah Qajar. He shelled and subsequently laid siege to the seat of the Majlis of Iran. Arfa Ed Dalla Hossein Kali Khan Hedayat Mokbar Ed Dawla II Religious leaders Muhammad Qasim Khorasani, constitutionalist. Sayyid Jamal ad-Din Esfahani, constitutionalist. Malek al-Motahailman, constitutionalist see Mirza Jahangir Khan and Muhammad Ali Jamalzadeh. Sayyid Abdullah Bebahani, constitutionalist see Sayyid Hassan Takizadeh. Mirza Sayyid Muhammad Tabatabai, constitutionalist. Mirza Hussein Naini, constitutionalist. Muhammad Qasim Yazdi, anti-constitutionalist. Sheikh Fazlallah Nuri, anti-constitutionalist. Mirza Abu Talib Zanjani, anti-constitutionalist. Sheikh Mehdi Nuri, Society of Constitutional Activists, a left religious party. Topic. See also. Constitutionalist movement of Gilan. History of Iran History of the Iranian Constitutional Revolution by Ahmad Khosravi Intellectual movements in Iran Iranian Revolution of 1979 Attempts at constitutionalization in Iran Persian Tobacco Movement White Revolution Morgan Shuster List of conflicts in the Middle East Triumph of Tehran Secularism in Iran Ibn al-Sheikh Women in Constitutional Revolution Topic. References Topic. Sources Aminant, Abbas 1992. Constitutional Revolution I. Intellectual Background. Encyclopedia Iranica, Vol. V. Fasc. 2 pp. 163–176. Ahmad Kasravi, tariq e mashruta ye iran tariq mashruut iran History of the Iranian Constitutional Revolution, in Persian, 951p, Nega Publications, Tehran, 2003, ISBN 964-351-138-3. Note, this book is also available in two volumes, published by Amir Kabir Publications in 1984. Amir Kabir's 1961 edition is in one volume, 934 pages. Ahmad Kasravi, History of the Iranian Constitutional Revolution, Tariq e Mashrut ye Iran, Volume 1, translated into English by Evan Siegel, 347 p. Mazda Publications, Costa Mesa, California, 2006. ISBN 1 56859 197 7. Mehdi Malekzada, Tariq e Enklab e Mashridiyat e Iran, Tariq Enklab Mashruthat Iran The History of the Constitutional Revolution of Iran, in seven volumes, published in three volumes, 1697 p. Sokan Publications, Tehran, 2004 1383 A. ISBN 964 372 095 0. Hagshinas, Sayyid Ali, Movement of Zhingao, Ojnews.ir. Topic. Further reading Mongol Bayat, Iran's First Revolution, Shiism and the Constitutional Revolution of 1905–1909, Studies in Middle Eastern History, 336p, Oxford University Press, 1991. ISBN 0-19506822-X Brown, Edward G. The Persian Revolution of 1905 to 1909. Mage Publishers, July 1995. ISBN 0-934211-45-0. Afari, Janet. The Iranian Constitutional Revolution, 1906 to 1911. Columbia University Press, 1996. ISBN 0-231-10351-4. Foreign, John. 
The Strengths and Weaknesses of Iran's Populist Alliance, a class analysis of the Constitutional Revolution of 1905–1911. Theory and Society, Vol. 20, No. 6 December 1991, pp. 795–823. JSTOR External links Reza Jamali in conversation with Dr. Abbas Aminant, Professor of History and International and Area Studies at University of Yale, in Persian, Radio Zamana, August 7, 2008 audio recording. Shoka Sarai, Photographs of the Constitutional Revolution of Iran, in Persian, Jadid Online, 2007, Slide Show, narrated by Dr. Bakke Akeli, Jadid Online, 2007, 4 minutes 30 seconds. Constitutional Revolution of Iran